The Double Decker Bus by Nina Liu and Catherine Tomei Fosnot. The minute I wake up, even before I open my eyes, I know it's a nice day out. I know because I can feel sun on my face and I can hear kids laughing and dogs barking and cars honking. I hop out of bed and settle in my window seat, out my bedroom window, all the world's stage, and I have a front row seat. There is Mr. Peshkov, my downstairs neighbor, reading the paper on a bench. Mrs. Rivera is shopping with her baby at the fruit and vegetable stand. Matthew, who's walking his dog, Brandy, sees me and waves. The street is alive too. There are cars and delivery trucks, taxis, and a couple of bicycles. And look, there it is, the double-decker bus. I love double-decker buses. I love the red and white seats. I love the way you can sit on the top deck or the bottom deck. I like to sit on top, of course. There is no roof up there, so the breeze blows in your face. And you can see the sky and the tops of the buildings and the trees. But most of all, I love the double-decker buses because my daddy drives one. When a double-decker bus comes by, I like to figure out how many passengers are on it. On this bus, I can see five people on the upper deck and four passengers on the lower deck. Sometimes the bus pulls away from the bus stop too soon and I don't have time to count them all. Still, I can figure it out because I know five plus five is ten. Five plus four is one less. So, there are nine passengers on that bus. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yes, five plus four equals nine passengers. Here comes another bus. I wonder how many passengers are riding on this bus? Try to figure it out. You can count by ones or you can count in a group like this. Four. Plus five equals, you got it, nine, nine passengers. I remember one day when the sky was really blue. It was so beautiful that even the birds were singing extra loudly. That day, the top seats, all ten of them, were always full. Just a few people sat on the bottom deck. Maybe they wanted to sit on the upper deck too, but there was no room, except for the lady with the gigantic straw hat and sunglasses. She probably just wanted to stay out of the sun. So let's see if we have 10 seats on top and they should always be full in a very beautiful sunny day. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There are going to be ten seats on the top and ten seats at the bottom. I like it when Daddy tells me about the buses. 
Sometimes, he says, when people get on the bus, they ask if there are any seats on the upper deck. But I can't tell because I can't see up there. I helped him figure it out. I told him if he knew how many people were on the bus all together. He could just subtract the people he could see on the bottom. Then he would know how many were on the top. He liked my idea and he tried it. That night, when Daddy came home from work, he told me the idea worked. This morning, he explained, I knew that eight passengers had boarded the bus, and I saw just two of them sitting behind me downstairs, like this. One, and two, this is the bottom. So, I figured that there must be six sitting upstairs. One, two, three... Four, five, six. I know there are ten seats upstairs. There you go. You can see the ten seats upstairs. So I was able to tell a lady who asked that there were four empty seats on top. I felt proud that I could help my daddy. You can see the four free seats on top. Yes. One, two, three, four. This is how he figured it out. Or we can say the total, which is eight, take away the passengers on the bottom, two equals six. Those are the passengers on the top mm -hmm. so now to know how many seats are available on top I'll just go ahead and put the total of seats take away the number of passengers on top that is going to give me the seats available Four seats. On another day, when Daddy came home, he told me that in the afternoon, ten passengers were riding his bus, and all of them sat upstairs. But then the sky got a little dark, he said, and a few raindrops started falling. First, a lady in a yellow sundress came down to the lower deck. I think she was cold. Then a man with a newspaper came down. His newspaper was already a little wet. To describe this scenario, I can make a number sentence with the number of passengers on top and the number of passengers on the bottom. Let's see. The number of passengers on top, there are eight, plus the number of passengers at the bottom, two equals, the total number is ten. Then it started drizzling, Daddy said, and a lady with a little boy came down. He wanted to stay on the top, but the lady wouldn't let him. Soon it was pouring, and the rest came down one by one until all the ten passengers were on the bottom to get out of the bad weather. Can you make that number sentence? I think you can. Let's try. How many are here? Zero. And how many went to the bottom? All of them, right? Then, zero plus ten equals ten. But today it's not raining. The sun is shining brightly on my face as I sit on my seat looking out the window. I think today everyone will rush to get the seats on the upper deck. When I grow up, 
I want to drive a bus too and greet the passengers and help them get where they are going. And when I do, it's definitely going to be a double-decker bus because that's twice as much fun.